What's going on guys? It's like a hero and today I have a Tarkov guide here on a new mission added into Tarkov that is called search mission. This is a proper quest. It's an early quest that you get and it is kind of an introductory mission to kind of force you to go into the new part of woods. As always guys, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. 94% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel guys. Turn on those notifications so you can get all the new quests guys as I complete them. Now I'm going to show you how to get to this place using lumber mill as a reference point. That is because most people would know how to locate that on the map. Once we are here at the center of lumber mill, we're going to look and we're going to use sniper scav or that sniper scav rock as our second reference point and then we're going to also use this other snipe location that's often called penis rock or whatever has many names on it. We're going to use these two to kind of know where we need to go. Once we get to this location right here, you're going to notice that just past Sniper Rock, this, this area right here that I'm at, where the vehicle extract used to be, there are two mountains, one to the left and one to the right. We're going to go to the leftmost mountain. It's like a short little small rock cliff, actually. We're going to just go straight through that and we're going to follow a path that gets revealed. Now you can use these, these landmarks to help guide your way there. You do not have to go this way because there's a major landmark. Once we cross here, once we get past that mountain that to our left, that rock formation there, you're going to see it's right here. It's the left one. We're just going to go straight. We're actually going to go in between, in between that rock formation, in between two rock formations almost like a ravine. Once we get through there, we're going to come across some power lines. Now this is probably going to be a high traffic area as you're doing this. I do recommend you starting up woods, doing an offline run here to kind of get familiar so you can be able to do that. And then obviously guys, you can do this at nighttime, probably run into less players. But you can see that once we cross there, we come across these power lines. We are actually in a fork in the road there. There's a road here that runs right underneath the power lines. We want to go to the left once we get here. We have another landmark that we can use. It's like a just a bunch of trash next to the side of the road. And then, of course, we have that power line pole there. So we're going to head there and we're going to go to the right once we hit those trash cans. Make sure that you do this in offline mode first so you're able to kind of explore and get there. I always recommend doing that if you're on a new quest and you, even if you know where you have to go, do an offline run just so you can kind of practice getting there quickly, especially if it's like a pickup quest. But you can see here we're in between the trash and the power line there. We're going to go straight through and we're going to go up the hill. Now, this is a two part here. We have to locate a convoy. And we have to locate a base. So we're going to first run into the base here. And it's just going to be right around this rock formation. This is actually a high loot area. So be prepared to run into people here, especially if you're going in at daytime. Once you enter the camp right here, it's going to automatically show you that you've completed the first part. Again, a lot of loot, a lot of boxes. There's boxes on top of the trash cans. But you can see once I get to here, we've located the USEC temporary camp. The next thing is to find Proper's convoy. But again, guys, do not head to the left over here. So I forgot to say that. That, that there's going to be landmines over. That's the edge of the map. Let me bring up this map to show you exactly where we are in relation to everything else. I've kind of added outskirts here on the bottom left so you can kind of see where everything lines up. We were at Lumber Mill. You could see that the USA camp is to the northern part of the map. It's actually the edge. If you head to that left area where I told you not to go, you're actually getting a hip run into landmines. So make sure like you don't go any more left of that. You can go a little bit north. So this is kind of where we are in relation to other major landmarks in the in this map. After getting that first one, you're gonna see another small camp to the left. And again, this is gonna be a high loot area, guys. A lot of chests, a lot of big crates. You're gonna find a lot of weapon crates here, a lot of mods on the tables. So again, prepare for enemies prepare for other players when you are actually running this in the real the actual pmc raid here so if we just hug the left side of the lake we're going to go down 
here and we're going to hug the left side of the lake. Once we go on that left side here, there's going to be another small lake in front of us. We want to go in between that. And you can see here, that's kind of where, where the USAC camp was. We want to go in between the small lake on our right and the lake on our left. And we're just going to go right to the center, right through the center here. And you're going to see two broken down vehicles. Now, once you get to this part there, that's it. You've actually found a prepper's convoy now. You are complete here. You've completed the mission. You just have to extract. If you die in raiding, you don't make the extract. You'll already have the first part completed, but you'll have to actually fight this convoy again and extract successfully, guys. Well, that's it. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to start putting up these Tarkov quest missions as I complete them myself. Now that the holidays are over, I'm going to dedicate more time to that. Again, subscribing and liking the channel helps out tremendously, guys, with exposure with the YouTube algorithm, guys. Thank you, and I will see you later.